let me show you how to create a countdown timer in Canva to use in your online class. I'm gonna show you how to do this in both the free version and also the pro version. If you're like me and you teach online all the time, I use Canva for everything, so the pro version is what I have, but there is a way to do this for free. Let me first start off by showing you how to do the free version. Once you open up your Canva account, this is the biggest and most important part of this new design. You wanna type in webinar, countdown timer in the search box before you even start anything. Once you do that, you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna see Canva templates and there are so many of them, but let's keep this simple and fast and short and easy for you. If you have a free account, the most important one that I can find that is free is this one right down here. We're gonna click on that one and this one has up to 10 minutes for you to play with. We're gonna click customize template and then we're going to play with the amount of timer that you need. Here's the best part about this. You can customize this entire template and the time and just repeat and rinse and repeat for every single time you need to use this and not have to redo it because you have the basics already set. Click on the amount of time, that little box on the bottom right hand corner of the slide. And then we are going to click edit video. You have options here to play with. Then we're also going to click the trim tool. And once you click on this, you can trim this out to what you need. So if you want a minute and 30 seconds, that's it right there. So we just wanna to go to a minute 30 and that's what you have. So you can play with this amount of time in this one 10 minute timer for anything you need from you know, five seconds to 10 minutes. You have that option to rinse and repeat. The next option you have here is click on the bottom line and then click on play back at the top left hand corner here's another option for what you need in your class or your presentation or your webinar whatever you're giving you can do the speed of it so if you want it to count a little faster you can also do you want it to play on repeat so do you want it to repeat you know a one minute countdown multiple times in a row for whatever reason that you need and your next option is play automatically. As soon as you present the screen, share the screen, whatever it may be, like for example here, if I give you a test and I hit play on my screen, it starts automatically, right? Your next option is you can untick play automatically and that way you have control over it in a little bit more of a comfortable way depending on whether you're going to export this, right? If you're gonna go up here on share and you're going to export it into any other type of, of presentation. If you're gonna drop it down into, you know, any of the options, if you're gonna download it, if you're gonna drop it in a PowerPoint or in a Google Drive or a Dropbox or, you know, whatever you're going to do with it from this point on moving forward, then you have that option to have more control over it. I honestly either present it directly from Canva because I, I, it's just faster for me, or if I'm worried about it crashing in Zoom, which sometimes Canva does crash in Zoom if you haven't figured this out, then I will just export it and I'll just play it as a video from my laptop. So it really depends. Or I'll put it in a presentation because I use the templates in Canva quite often. Just depends on how you're going to use it. Now, going back to our design screen here originally for a pro version that I really love is again, make sure you're in webinar countdown timer. And here is a lovely one that is a pro that again is up to 10 minutes, which we love because then we can kind of set it and forget it. And you'll even see down here, a lot of these don't go longer than like 10 seconds or something, or they're not an actual tick down timer. So again, the same thing here, we can click customize, we can open this up, we can click on the timer, we can go click the tool here as well, and then we can drag it to whatever we need. And then we can just rinse and repeat this every single time. And then you have the same options as everything else that you would do within here. If you wanna edit this, you can also go over to the left and again, type in webinar countdown timer, and you can again see those same templates in a different version. And then you can play with this and you can do that same thing that I'm showing you right now in this free one, right? So again, you can go into design and you can type in webinar countdown timer and you can see which ones are not pro and hover over them. And if they don't have the pro, then they're free. You can use them and see there are 10 second ones, but these are the ones that I have found that are the most versatile that give you that time above a certain amount of seconds but you could even put these in the backdrop. You could change this back. We just really, we're looking for this right here. You could even like literally delete all of that. And if you want, you could even make this really big if that is what you're needing and just boom, there it is, done and dusted, right? I hope that was helpful 
for you. I love teaching online. It's a passion. I do this every single day for a living in my industry of musical theater. And so having a countdown timer for whatever you're doing, a masterclass, a webinar, a presentation, a class, a course, whatever you need it for, this is a great way to do it in Canva for both a free and a paid version. I'll see you in the next video.